Hey guys, Pops here. I gotta tell you, Widowmaker asked me to drop in here and create a short little blurb for you guys to answer a particular question as a streamer. I've been streaming a little bit about myself and what qualifies me to give you an answer on streaming on a subject uh, such as streaming is I've been streaming for two years, almost two years, exactly. It'll be two years in December, and um, I've learned a lot in that time. When I first started out, I was really, really, really Nicky new guy, nervous, uh, didn't know quite what to do, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm really, really proud and happy that Widowmaker asked me to come in and uh, try and answer a question for you. Uh, the question is, what advice can you give a new streamer when picking a streaming program? Now, by streaming program, I'm sure uh, what the question has in mind is, uh, do I go with Streamlabs OBS or do I go with Stream Elements? And I, I've done both, guys. So when I first started streaming, I had my original PC, which is actually still in use today. It's a real good gaming PC. Um, not super powerful, but it certainly did the gaming aspect just fine. Um, and so I, st I looked at the different platforms available to be streaming, and uh, I, I did my homework. I watched YouTube videos. Uh, I watched the good, bad, and the ugly of both streaming products, and I really liked Streamlabs OBS. Streamlabs OBS has a clean, clean look and feel to it, a very high-tech feel to it. Uh, it was fairly easy to use and set up. Um, and, and I liked the, the layout overlay editor and how it worked within Streamlabs OBS. So I started out learning everything I could learn about Streamlabs OBS, and I put it on my PC. I did my streaming. Everything worked pretty good um and i was on the road to my streaming career if you will and when that streaming began to grow a little bit beyond me just talking to an empty room uh i began to see that my resource management was maxing out using Streamlabs OBS. And what I mean by maxing out, my memory was maxed, my CPU was maxed, and even more importantly, my graphics card was maxed out. Now, granted, I didn't have a big high-end uh, computer, streaming computer setup, I had my basic gaming computer. Well, I began to have crashes in my stream. I began to have, and, and if you go back, and if we look at the history, talk to some of my moderators that have been with me for a while, you will see that um, I was really having difficulty I was starting and stopping my stream two, three, four times a day, and it was intolerable. And so I went back to the drawing board, did more research, and found out 
that Streamlabs OBS is a good product if you've got a really high end quality resource abundant streaming PC. But from my PC, it was it was capping me out on my resources. And then also in that research, I learned that stream elements with obs.live as your interface is far less resource dependent than Streamlabs OBS. And they do the, that by their overlays are out on the web instead of on your local PC. So it's pulling in a web page, but the graphics, uh, uh, the GPU utilization is low, lower than Streamlabs OBS memory CPU. So I did the research, I did my homework, I made the switch, and all of a sudden, I went from being intolerable for streaming to tolerable. It became, <clears throat> uh, it made all the difference in the world. I could run on the PC I had available to me. And then after that, <clears throat> I actually upgraded my streaming PC to the one I'm using today, which is much more powerful. And on two different occasions, I, I thought about going back to Streamlabs OBS because I really like the interface that they have. But I looked at it twice, and both times I said, Man, the learning curve's just too high for me. I'm not going back. So I stayed with Stream Elements. And right now, Stream Elements with OBS.Live fits the bill for what I'm doing. I really like it. I like the way they do uh, their giveaways. I like the way they do uh, a lot of things. There are some things I wish I had in Streamlabs OBS that <clears throat> Stream Elements doesn't have yet. Uh, but for the most part, I am extremely happy, especially with the resource utilization with Stream Elements and OBS.Live. Do I have a recommending recommendation? Yeah. Stream elements, especially if resources is an issue for you. Well, that's all I got to say about that. Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get when you open them up. Uh, guys, this is Pops. Thanks for being here. Thanks for listening. And we'll catch you on the stream. Let me know if I can be any help. This is Pops, signing off. Pops, departing. <laughs>